Hello everyone, my name's Mr. Lee. Today we are playing some Soul Land deck that Ceres has. Uh, I think he's. I think the username is Ceres MTG. He's a very well-known colorless player. He he invented World Prison in Modern. He's come back to Legacy to help us make Smokestack a card. Bring back Smokestack. Make Smokestack great again. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the deck list here that Ceres has. I think his I think his username is Ceres. I I versed him before, uh, them I versed them before, and I don't know if they play a lot of Legacy, but definitely have play, has I'm um, came back out of nowhere and started playing some Soul Land decks. So you know if it's got Chalice of the Void, you know here on the stream we love some Chalices of the Void. So let's go ahead and talk about the deck list, what they're doing here. So four box diamonds with uh. This deck seems wild. I know, right? Four Mox Diamonds with 22 lands is kind of like... Wow. Like, I don't know if the mass count works out there, but we have Grim Model Lifts, I guess. But yeah, the four Mox Diamonds, a Mox Opal, which Mox Opal makes sense. We've got all artifacts. And then we have four Urza's Saga, four Wastelands. Obviously, the Wasteland, the Crucible of Worlds lock. Four Chalice of the Voids, because, you know, we just, you know, rock up to our LGS with eight Soul Lands. Let's go. Uh, we have, you know, Saga, we've got some Saga targets like Needle, Manifold Key, and Exhibition Map. Um, and then we also have, oh, we have, there's two maps, sorry, my mistake, two maps. Um, Grim Model Lift, so we can go turn one of our eight Soul Lands in the Grim Model Lift, have three mana, slam a three ball. We have Ensnaring Bridge and Crucible Worlds. Is is Urza Saga the only win con in this deck? Uh, I mean, you got Khan. You can just, we've got Khan the Great Creator. Khan does things, right? Khan can, uh, go ahead and get... Lattice in the sideboard, can get a coding blow up all their lands, we can prison them out. Essentially, it is a prison deck from the core here. It's prison. It's like Chalice of the Voids in Snaring Bridge. Um, Khan can also animate stuff. We have four Serum Powders, so you can see here that Ceresti is really going all in on trying to make sure that uh, they get the right prison pieces. So that's what we're going to be doing today, and we have all fermented lovely Smokestack. Smokestack is hilarious. If you don't know what Smokestack does, basically you put a suit counter on it, and then you have to sack uh, each player, right? No, that player. Each turn, you go back and forth and sack permanents. And the great thing is, nearly everything... Wait, everything is a permanent. Everything is literally a permanent in the whole deck. Um, yeah, everything is a permanent. And then we have Crucible and uh, and Land. So essentially, you want to sack a land and then replay it with smoke stack so the opponent runs out of permanents, and you just basically have, um, you know... You can just sack the smoke stack later. So essentially, you can leave it on one. I think that's a good reason. Ensnaring Ridge is good against giant Merc Tides and DRCs and Delvers, I guess, or some big creatures like Maverick. Um, essentially, it's a prison deck. I don't know how to Serum Powder properly, but we're going to try to roll with it. We're going to roll with the deck today and see how it goes. And hopefully, we see how this goes in the league. We've got the standard um, card packages in the sideboard here. We've got Liquid Metal Coating. We've got Snaring Bridge. We've got Cage, we've got four Defense Grids. Wow, this person does not kid. I mean, you got eight Soul Lands. You might as well slam a Defense Grid turn one. Ladder, Shadow Spear, Crypt, and Welding Jar. So there's no non-land permanents. I mean, no, sorry. There's no spells. They're just all permanents. That's interesting. That's really interesting. All right, let's go ahead and roll this through a league and see how this goes, eh? Hope everyone's uh, having a good time. If you are watching from YouTube, remember, uh, click that subscribe button. It's best. <laughs> I have to watch this. Oh, he's up, Master. Good to see you, buddy. Um, and uh, yeah, good to see also Lasko reads comics. So you can see that you. Oh, oh, oh. Zod is redeeming the uh, dab filter. Let me give me a second. Um, if you're watching from YouTube, click that subscribe button. Best way to support the stream is clicking the subscribe, clicking the like button, leave a comment. Tell me what you want me to play next. Tell me what you want me to explore, brew with, or even just play on play in the on the streams here. I'll, I'll see if it's good. You can also ask me to play a donation league as well. If you just pay for the league itself, I will more than happily play it through. Uh, if you want me to play it within the week or whatnot. Um, outside of that, uh, we we're just going to roll through this league. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash one Mr. Lee. Uh, you can check that out. I also have Twitters and stuff as well. But uh, Zodmaster, you can do dumb stuff like this on the stream. Uh, he's redeeming the dab. So I'm going to dab. And he can make me do that. There you go. Now, I'm rolling with this new like webcam layout where I've got a giant head. But let's see how this goes. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and find us a Magic Leagues and roll with this. You happy? You happy, Zot? You happy to see me dab? Oh, 
No, I'm excited about this league. This league, this deck is kind of cool. I think I could build this whole thing in paper. Always happy. Awesome. Love to see the support, mate. Yeah, so I think this is a kind of like prison deck that I like to play a lot. Um, alrighty, we've got a game here. And it's, I just love Khan decks. Alright, who are we versing here? Alright, round one here against Wolf2222. Remember, a tip if you want to learn, uh, remember numbers. Don't say 2222. You say them in pairs or triples. You say like 2222. 22. It's easy to remember. Alright, we're on the play. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, we have a turn one three ball. And, oh wow, there's ports in the decks? Unbelievable. Alright, a bunch of three balls and, uh... <laughs> A bunch of three balls and nothing to do. No, no win con. But I guess that's prison for you. We're on the plays. I guess we have to keep this. Yeah, I think we have to keep this. We just like play three ball. If it gets countered, we play another one. Hopefully, the opponent. Oh, we just port their lands as well. Uh, that's so annoying. Okay, so I like just discarding one of the ports here. Uh, I don't really want to kill myself with uh, port and two. But uh, yeah, I'll discard one of the ports. I can save the other tomb for a uh, bigger threat. Opponent is mulling the six. It's not their day today. Okay, we'll go tomb. Mox diamond. Discard a port. And jam a sphere. See, this resolves. Oh, it resolves. Fantastic. All right, so opponents are not going to be playing magic for a few turns. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, they just scooped it up. I mean, we didn't even have a win con. All right, we had a con coming up. Alrighty, they smold and then scooped. Just that's just how it is. All right, on to the next. I don't know the next game. Alrighty, um, we don't know what they're doing, um, so I guess we just ship it back. Yes, yeah, so we have some defense grids. We got some uh, ley lines, but again, we don't know what they're doing. So we'll, we'll take the free wins here. We'll take the free wins. And their poor poor opponent is on their first game of the league, right? They're 0-0, zero, zero. they're just starting their day off, going like, let's play some Legacy, and I'm like, turn one, two, two, go. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll stick it back here. I also could have, like, not played Tomb first, and played the Mox Diamond to look like a, um, to look like, like a Maverick deck or a Four Color Loam deck. But we'll, we'll take those free wins. Alright, game two, round one. Let's, let's roll. Uh, yeah, I'll take this. This is a... Again, there's not many win cons I can see in this deck, but uh, we're gonna go turn one. Oh wow, the serum powder trigger is happening. We're uh, starting us if we want to powder. Um, I guess we'll keep this. we just keep this. Keep this. Uh, we can still turn one trigger sphere here. I don't think I want to mox, do I? Oh, they're playing... <laughs> what is this? Alright. Okay, okay, okay. They're animating to make Metalcraft. Right, right, right. Esper Sentinel. Okay, okay. I see what you're doing here. You're playing a little bit of Affinity. Uh, alrighty. So we have the Tomb, which is actually not too bad. So we can go... Just Tomb. I guess I don't have counter spells, right? Tomb, Grim Monolith, Trinisphere. Or do we go... No, we actually can just play the Mox. Discard the Waste. No, wait. I can keep the Wasteland. Aha, aha, aha. So, I think I'm still gonna Tomb, Grim, Trinosphere. Um, and I could Mox discard the city. Because I want to Wasteland them. I don't think I even need the Mox though. No, I think the Mox is good. The Mox is good. So we're gonna go Mox first. Um, I'll pay the tax. Discard the city here. Because eventually I'm going to be able to discard... I mean, I'm going to eventually untap the Grim Monolith anyway, so... Play the transfer here. I also can play at the Sim Powder later on, either. Oh, that's probably why they skipped game one, because they just have all these zero drops. Alrighty. So they have the mana, though. I don't think they can kill us though, with Trinosphere in play. That's what they play here. Seal Cleansing, right. Destroy the Trinosphere? Do it now? No? Okay. Fine with this. Attack for two? Yep. Alright, they got the Seal of Cleansing. Good for them. 
We've got another Grim. So I'm going to Wasteland the Igmoth. Uh, do I want to give them a card? I probably don't. They are attacking me though. Yeah, I'm just going to play this. Actually. Because I have to pay the tax anyway. Because if I play the Grim here... The Grim does give me 3 mana. Yeah, I think I think I'll play the Serum Powder and not pay the tax anyway. Yeah, I have to give him a card here. They're probably going to seal at the end step here. Nope, they didn't care. They didn't care about the treasure sphere. We are on 14, so they're just going to... I guess they're going to try... Okay, they're probably Bobber Man. Oriok Savage's human. Cavernous Souls naming human. Also, you can cast the uh, Esper Sentinel with human, which is really random. It looks like a robot or, or something, but it's not. Okay. So they realized they had to blow the treasure sphere so they could actually cast spells. Another Esper Sentinel, right. So, oh, they're ha playing Hammer? Right? Okay, just modern deck? <laughs> right, 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 okay, okay. They're just playing a modern deck, right. It's technically still- oh no, except the Mox Opal. Mox Opal is the only thing that's stopping them from being a mo not being a modern deck. Um, this is awkward. I guess I don't really want to- I'm still gonna wait- I think I'm just wasting landing- wasting landing them here, but they still have Metalcraft. Yeah, I'll waste them here. Kind of an awkward matchup then. I'm not gonna play out the. Uh, actually, I could play the Grim and give him a card. I don't think I want to do that. So I'm just gonna pass here. We got a bunch of mana. Well, at least we know their hammer. So need to somehow figure out how to. Oh, the mother runes makes sense. Let's beat down for three, sure. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll take two here to untap the Grim bottle lift. Lexi Hammer. Yeah, we have played this on the league before. Oh, Smudge Stack. All right, I think we're still going to die, but we can... Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm thinking no, I, there's no point in me playing Grim on Leaf and then trying to Smudge Stack. So, we're still going to die, but I'm going to take two here. Should I even give away got a Smudge Stack? Should I even give it away? We've got two mana play to get a card. They're just going to beat me down every turn. All right, we played out. We played out. I'm thinking here if I should just like play Grim Monolith and then pay the tax and then I can place. Yeah, okay, sure. Oh, there's two taxes. Alrighty. Um, uh, pay one. I'm not giving two cards. Then give one card here. It's only the first spell as well, by the way. So we we'll burn this and we also have some fodder for the uh, smokestack. Alright, they're technically going to attack, kill us in two turns, so I don't think that's going to do it, but we can top deck a bridge here. Right, there's a second for our opponent. Stoneforge, alrighty. Makes sense. They're going to get a hammer? <laughs> just, just, just casually going to get a cold draw, right? Alright, attack for four, makes sense. So it doesn't really matter here, I think I'm dead, so... Yeah, what's up? Just go ahead and scoop it in the middle of the trigger. There's a card. So let's say I draw the card. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I still die. Right. Alright, so card and bridge is kind of good. Uh, bridge is kind of not the greatest though, because... They're going to be able to sneak under the bridge by like playing hammer after attackers declared. But you know, we are prioritizing bridges, prioritizing cards, prioritizing some needles are kind of good in this matchups. Alright, so I think, let's think about, um, I don't think we need to bring anything in to be honest. The deck is, yeah, the cage is not really doing anything here. Grid, if, I don't think the pay force bigger, so. I think Chalice is good. Being on the plague and Chalice to zero. 
Charles for one as well. Is there anything bad in our deck here? Hmm. Crucible. This is a like so we're versing a very fast deck and we're a slow deck. Yeah. Okay. We will just play it as it is. I'm happy to play. I don't think there's anything good to bring in. And I don't think the defense group is gonna do anything here. I mean, Shadow Speak could technically gain life, but that's pretty much it. What do we got here? We have a Mox Diamond Saga. Hmm. So I think I want to prioritize Chalice all the way for sure. I think I want to powder this. It's gonna it's gonna eat my tomb and stuff and my Mox Diamond. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna powder. Cool. Cool, we have a turn one trader sphere. And we can just Oh, okay, I see the synergy now. Mox time and a Grizzle Wards. Okay. Oh wow, and a card. Okay, we're gonna keep this. <laughs> oh wow, what do we put back? I guess we just put back the mox here. We've got a pretty good hand. We have Wait, we we powdered. We don't need to put anything back. A real spoke stack? Hi. Yeah. So we powdered, we don't have and then Pot has molds of six. So this is gonna be an impressive hand. Yeah, we powdered so we don't have to mulligan. So we're gonna go Ancient Tomb, Mox Dive, and Discard Saga. Oh wow, this is gonna be a gas turn. All right, this, this, discard this, cast this. I mean, why not? Um, then Trinisphere, and then next time we play Crucible. No way they have counters. Then there's a scoop it up. Oh wow. Uh, they would not have liked the next turn. Next turn we play Saga or Khan? Yeah, next turn we play Khan, lock their whole deck, uh, their hand up, and then we just play Crucible, and then just get back Saga every turn. That seems good. Wow. Wow, that was a... <laughs> if we could draw it up, I literally would just, like spell out like, hey, this is the perfect hand. You go to uh, your Ancient Tomb, uh, Mox Diamond, discard a land, Trune Sphere, and then have a Crucible to get back to Urza Saga that we discarded, and then follow up with the card. <laughs> <laughs> that was the perfect hand. Wow. Wow, that was uh, that was good. And we didn't even get one single chalice. All right, on to game two. Round two. <laughs> Better lucky than good, right? Better lucky than good, we say. Oh, wow. How are we always on the die roll? Is this what the deck does? We're just always on the die roll? <laughs> All right, we'll take the play here. Well, we've got a Yurion pile here. Yeah, they're just, they're, uh, we've got 80 cards. This is, uh, this is actually kind of good, right? We can go... Turn one, chalice for one. Yeah, this is good. I'll keep this. We've got a saga in our hand. <laughs> and reversing a Yuri on pile. So, um, my plan here is to go tomb. Chalice for one. I doubt they have any dazes. Uh, we also can mox diamond. Discard city. Yeah, discard city. I don't think I need a chalice for zero. We have a bunch of Mox Diamonds and a Mox Opal, but I think the Mox Opal is also in there for the Saga target. Alright, Crackers. I'm gonna wait slam that. <laughs> Perfect can goes turn one, three three ball, turn two, smoke stack, then opponent can never cast a spell. Oh you're yeah, right. We need uh alright, so I can do two things. I can wasteland them, put them back by a land, or just chalice for two. No, because I got a Grim Lone for my hand, so we just wasteland them and just like watch them. <laughs> watch them. Do uh, do Yuri on things. Um, so prismatic ending is a card, and a lot of people, um, a lot of people don't play Chalice decks anymore because prismatic ending is so popular. So I wonder here if I just slam another Chalice on one because I they're a Yuri on deck. They probably have a million cantrips, right? That's uh oh wait, there could be DNT. So we will have to find out more. Let's go ahead and just. Find out more. Let's find out more. They could be DD. Because if they're Yuri on DNT, a Chalice on 2 is pretty good. Because of like, if they play a Plains, it's a Wasteland. Okay, I don't mind that. I got. I'd rather than Wasteland my Tomb right now. And then I can just play the Grim Molin if out. Oh, they're just waiting. Interesting. Interesting. They're waiting my upkeep. No, 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 just porting. Um, Chalice on 2, then no Thalia or Prismatic Endings. Becomes a mega difficult. That's a good point. So I guess I'll play the port here to bait out. I need to wastelands. And let's chalice on two then. Oh, by the way, no, actually, we, ch we grew monolith first, then chalice on two, because we can just like, untap it later. And we play your own days. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> um, uh, let's go ahead and tap the right mana. There we go. Yeah, monolith into Chalice for two. Why not? Um, now, if they to, I feel like with the wasteland and the crackers line here, I feel like they're DNT. They they the sky noodles. Is that the official name now? Yeah, they're port. Is that the official name for a uh, Yurion DNT now? Is it called Sky Noodles? Because I think that's a cool name. Alright, if they try to port me here, then I'm more than happy to let that happen. Yeah. Because we got a saga here. Oh, a chalice. Okay, so they're trying to port our port. <laughs> uh, but we just got a saga now. So they're probably going to wasteland the saga here. And then I'm going to tap everything and untap my groom. Don't need to chalice again. Field of Ruin. Oh, yo. Do we even have basics? I think they're gonna throw this. Okay. Um. Sure. I'm gonna do these things. Why not? Do we have a basic? I don't think we do. Nope. <laughs> no basics. I was about to say I don't think we have a basic. I think they're probably gonna grab a planes. All right. Yeah. They got. They're D and T. All right. So anything off the top for us is great. Uh, serum powder. Right. Um. Do we chalice for three? <laughs> Um, we can go tap that. One, two, three, four. No, we need Charles for three. No flicker. Yes, yeah, Charles for three does equal no sky clave or, or flicker wisp. You're right. You're right. Uh, I guess we could. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? All right. Why not? Why not? We're not doing anything anyway. Oh, sorry. Wrong, wrong card. I guess I don't want to. I don't want to throw out this serum powder. What are we winning with? Faith. Faith. We're winning with faith. No. Uh, we have Urza, Look. Check out the deck list. Yeah, we have um Urza Saga. We have Khan. And you know, Saga's a win coin by itself. And Smokestack. It's 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 breaking people's uh hope. Uh, in playing Legacy, a uh, win con. All right, they put Euron in their hand. We have a lot of three drops though, don't we? <laughs> Let's just say we have a uh, we have a serum powder literally in our hand. Um. Okay, we'll play this city out. We'll just port them. That's what we're supposed to do, right? We port their white source, I guess. So they can't play Yurion. <laughs> now they're taking a land drop. They're on eight cards. They're going to discard. Oh, they discarded a viral and discarded a Thalia. This is hilarious. Um. Yeah, we'll take this. It's fine. Needle. All right, that's awkward. Uh, sure. So they're gonna, probably going to try to slam a Yuri on. Once if they get a land. <laughs> no, they have not got a land. Okay. So I guess we take two here, even though they're a creature deck. By the way, by the way, Doctor Strange defeated Muramara in the movie. He made rage, rage quit. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, opponent is also going to discard again. Discarding the spirit here. Uh, we have yeah, they're gonna port our port. That's fine. We know how to port. Porting. Oh, Khan. All right, so we definitely uh, want to slam this Khan here. Uh, question is, what do I get? Probably a lattice, I guess. I can't, I can't even cast half these spells uh, because of <laughs> all these chalices. Uh, yeah, we're just getting lattice here. Um, I guess I could just take two instead of, yeah, instead of hurting myself. All right. Can't lattice. Yeah, we're going to lattice here. Yeah, we don't burn our Grim Monolith here. They're going to try to do porting of the city or traders, but we sell Grim Monolith up, so we're good. This is a very strange game. <laughs> I mean, if you were to like map it out, I'd be like, yeah, you just like chalice on all the numbers and then you get a card and win, I guess. <laughs> but like, if you look at our deck list, we got a lot of three drops. Opponent is like, what do I do? And also they missed a bunch of land drops here. Okay, they're waste landing my tomb, which, but I still have the mana to cast things. Oh, cause they can port me, right, right. They can still port me, yep. Opponent just says, Oh, thank you for the subscription. Uh, oh, Hacho, Reese, good to see Thank you, mate. Appreciate the love, mate. Land? Oh, we drew the land. 
Uh, three, four, five. Okay, so do I give up the city? Actually, oh, we okay. I can eat my own chalice. Okay, he, here's the here's the line, folks. I eat my own chalice for two, right? Um, and then go get a liquid metal, cast it, and then port their port. I mean, like you know, liquid metal their port. Oh wait, no, we can just cast it. My bad. What? <laughs> oh, or just cast a spell. No, it's okay. We I forgot about the box. One. Yeah, we have we have enough mana. It's fine. <laughs> I forgot about the, 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 I forgot about the, uh, I forgot about the Mox Diamond. We got the mana. I'm just, I'm just overcomplicating it, folks. I'm just overcomplicating it. Um, yeah, we could just tick this up here. Alright, alright. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Oh, we had more lands coming anyway. Alright, so they are on DNT. And thank you for the sub there, uh, Reese. Appreciate the love, mate. Um, they're on DNT. Walking Ballista would have been good for this deck. I mean, you just like shoot things very slowly, right? The game was demoralizing well played. <laughs> That's the whole point of the deck, right? That's what Ceres does. He does like prison decks to the T. He's amazing at it. You remember War Prison in Modern? It had a small stint and he was just playing it over, week over week on stream. And people were just like, this deck is so oppressive. And that's just what, how he plays. That's his, <laughs> that's his style of magic. Alrighty. Um, I guess I could bring Shadow Sphere in. It like helps me gain life. These need the needle is kind of nice. You can get um, stop wasteland and ports and stuff. Kind of annoying. Crucible is kind of nice main deck. Uh, maybe. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Um, I guess smokestack's kind of awkward because they have a lot of creatures, right? They're going to try to keep a hand that has maybe like a bunch of creatures to start beating me down every turn. And so yes, Smokestack's going to remove their permanence. They essentially could just like discard... Um, they could just totally discard like their lands and beat me down. Cut a diamond? Why, why do you think I should cut a diamond? Okay, I'll go over your line here. Because diamond lets me... like I guess we have 22 lands, but like diamond and like all this stuff lets us turn one Triton Sphere. I guess they are they are looking out for a slow deck, so they might even turn on vials, so and that's kind of awkward to transfer here. But okay, I'll, I'll I will go with your suggestion of cutting a diamond. I was gonna cut a smokestack and put it in the side because like anything we put in the side, we can just get out anyway from Khan. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll keep it. <laughs> I'll keep this. Turn one, nothing. Turn two. I mean, they're a Urion deck, so their chances of getting sideboard is much less. We can go tomb. We've got a backup tomb as well. Oh, nothing. Okay, okay, that's good. I thought it was tomb on viral. Would have been really awkward. All right, we're gonna go and play a tomb here and pass. We also could have played a saga turn one. Turn one saga. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Stone forge already. I thought about turn one saga. That way we can just like make constructs, but it will take so much damage, right? Like they've already got a cauldron, so. So next turn a cauldron is coming in, right? So, but a cauldron is a five-five. Uh, so I guess I can play Saga here, play Bridge. I know the cauldron is going to hit me once, but at least I can just keep emptying my hand here. They're going to just—they're just going to yeah—they're going to put in fight. They're going to put in the cauldron here and just attack for five. Next turn I'm going to be able to play two spells. Yep, attack for five. They realize, oh, they have to put pressure on. I'm worried about things like Flicker Wisp and stuff. I know they always play four of those. I also, uh, well, these are, these tombs are not helping me here, folks. Okay, so... I feel like if I play another Saga, it's just not going to help me here. Unless I'm getting, like, a Mox Diamond. I mean, or, or, or Opal or something, you know what I mean? So, I can go... If I turn this into a creature, it becomes a 7-7, right? If I just turn this artifact into a... With a Khan animate. Yeah, so... And then I'll be stuck on... And then they'll be stuck on the bridge. I mean, not... Just the... Just the Cauldra, that is. So if I go Caracas, Khan, plus on their Cauldra, the token will fall off, right? Because it's a creature. Yeah. And then I'll have less than 7 cards. Let's go ahead with that.
don't think I've ever done this line before, but sure. <laughs> Let's hope they don't, uh... I hope they don't figure out how to uh, get rid of the bridge, because that'll be awkward, right? We just sort of help them. Probably there's tanking on their upkeep. A foundry would have been nice in their stack, so you could like sack the tokens to smokestack. They're just gonna attack Khan for one. They didn't play a creature yet, but yeah, they're attacking Khan for one, which is good for us, right? We plustered and then they've just gone back to five, I don't mind. Technically, we can lattice next turn if we want to do that. What are they doing here? They got a Caracas. Recruiter, I think they're gonna get a. Um, Playing to get a uh, a flicker wisp, I guess, or a skyclave. Skyclave, right? So they can't cast spells if they uh, if there's a lattice in play. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we can get a lattice here. It also kills Coldrill, which is kind of nice. Um, so I'm definitely getting a lattice here. Just think about what to grab here. I guess we grab Needle. We can name Wasteland or like whatever, I guess. What does map get us? It would just get us uh, another cycle or Inventor's Fair. That's kind of a nice line there as well. Oh, I can... Hmm. Needle. Yeah, Needle can name a bunch of things. I guess we just get Needle here. Uh, um, maps for later, but we've got a bunch of sagas. We've got like we've got more coming. Let's get a needle here. And wasteland. I don't want them wastelanding me. I guess I also have wasteland, which is kind of awkward, but sure. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Now here's an awkward thing, right? They're gonna be able to attack the car down to one. I'm gonna turn this lattice into a 6-6. Six, six. So, yeah, they can't, uh, can't activate any abilities. Attack Khan for one. I turn the lattice into a 6-6. Six, six. Yep, attacking Khan. That makes sense. Got a port. So we just make this a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, we play a Saga out, I guess. We can play Trinosphere, but Trinosphere doesn't really matter, right? Like, they can't really do anything at the moment. Do I smoke stack them? No, because then I have to sack things. Let me just play Sagger out. Yeah, I'm also I'm willing to take two here. I don't know what they can do here though. I'm just trying to figure out how I can lose. I think that's generally the plan. This stops like any shenanigans. I don't know what they can do in white to stop this, but and block Khan at least doesn't die here because I have this blocker here. Solitude. Solitude is there out. Oh no, Khan because it's colorless. My bad. <laughs> Solitude is not there out. I learned that lesson in paper. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just Solitude after it comes in. I'm like, oh, I don't have any white cards left. All right, they scooped it up. Oh, we, oh wow, we won. Uh, we won the second round. That was fast. It's, it's 35 minutes. We're round three. Let's go. Give me some hype in the chat, folks. Give me some hype in the chat. Uh, 35 minutes, we're already in round 3? That's so good. Alrighty, well this deck uh, has been treating us well, folks. We first uh, DNT, Urion, and uh, <laughs> Hammer Time. Yeah, give me some hype, folks. Give me some hype. Fair Magic Lee, I know, right? As you know, I'm always about Fair Magic. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go into round 3, folks. Good to see you here, Disney, all the way. Uh, you are a regular, and I appreciate that. Oh, I want to play again! Whoa! Whoa, versing Tony! <laughs> uh, Interplay, most famously, infamously known for mono green cloud pose. Alrighty. Um, Alright, so they're cloud pose. So Wasteland is very good against them. And Smokestack is also really good. Um, 
Alright, so Tony says hi. He's, he's actually streaming as well. So this is a streamer battle. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. I want to play. Uh, I don't... I can just turn one here into Grim Monolith. And then just hopefully uh, do some s some silly stuff later. Grim into Smokestack? But Smokestack's 4 mana. How do I do that? Yes, we're definitely gonna grip a smokestack next turn. 100%, 100%. I'm gonna like probably just like sack a thing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I was like trying to look for the line. I was like, where, am I missing a, a, a manifold key? <laughs> I got freaked out for a thing. All right. Cloud post. Reclaim is not a problem though. Reclaim is a problem, but smokestack does do things. Ancient tomb. Okay, so I wonder here. Because I can... Okay, I can... Oh, this is kind of awkward. Okay, what did they get off the... They got a Cloud Post. So they're probably... I don't know if they're going to play the Cloud Post tapped. Because, like, Wasteland's really bad if they have a Reclaimer out, right? So I'm definitely playing the Smokestack here, but it doesn't do anything until it comes back. So I could... Play Saga. Just slam the uh, Smokestack. Or I play a tomb, um, slam smokestack, and then play in crack map. Or do I just play port and then just not hurt myself with the tomb? No, I think we want to go all in. They don't have as many permanents as I do. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They have a lot of like, uh, they have a lot of um, non-land permanents. Alright, so if, let's go Sagar actually. No, no. Hmm. The double, the Cloud Post Master himself, right? Um, yeah, I did, I did think about that. I thought about just playing it as a... Um, right, let me just see if I can not hurt myself as much. Yeah, there you go. There, that's better. We play Smokestack. We play a map. And we just pass. And then let the smokestack battles begin. So I also can crack map and go get uh, ex uh, Inventor's Fair, right? Um, and eventually use Inventor Fair to get Crucible. And then we just win. <laughs> they're playing a map and they're gonna play Cloud Post Tapped. Oh, well, they're gonna get punished so hard. Okay, so I think I don't even care. Yeah, they're gonna attack for one. I don't even care about cracking the map now. I'd rather just sack it to the. Yeah, I'm just gonna sack it because. I have a Saga. The Saga's gonna get another map. Okay, I have to do this right. I remember how to do this last time. Um, okay, so I click on this. No, I don't. I did it wrong. <laughs> Oops, I did it wrong. Okay, it doesn't. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, I'm supposed to click on this one first so it goes at the back. Uh, we're gonna put a trigger here. Okay, we, we, lost, a, we lost a map by accident, but it, it is what it is. That was my mistake, folks. Okay, we've got a true sphere anyway, which is great. So I'm gonna wasteland them here. Yeah, stack them correctly. Yeah, it's my bad, folks. My bad. My bad, my bad. So we click, we're supposed to click on, um, we click on the counter one last. That is the plan. My, my mistake. So opponent's gonna have to sack something. They're probably gonna sack the map here and get feisty. And we're gonna sack oh they sacked the reclaimer? Okay, I sure, I guess. I guess they need lands. They got the crackers now. They're gonna be able to crack map. So we just sack the Grim here. And just write this saga to victory. <laughs> We put this at the back. So we click on this first. There we go. I'm going to sack the Grim here. Uh, no. Play the Saga. I also might as well just play the Serum Powder here. They're, the green, Mono Green Cloud Post doesn't really... I know, I've got a Transfer play. Uh, they don't really... Um, they're not a fast deck. No second counter? Uh, I don't think I need to. 
Because remember, it comes back to me, right? So I have to like sack more things. So I'd rather just take it slow. We're taking us, the opponent is taking it slow, right? They've got not much going on. So we, we can take our time as well. Like, I think we're ahead of the race here. You know what I mean? They, they need a land, and then that land needs to play a spell. I wonder if I just sack the powder here. I think I do, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna sack the powder. I don't need this powder here. Yeah, they didn't play a land, so we, didn't, we don't even care about this anymore. So we just go ahead and sack the powder here. They scooped it up. Chalice Inventor. Oh, we had Inventor Fair coming up anyway. The fairest of magic, alright? Oh, I feel so bad because I've watched Tony, like... Tony's probably the most watched stream I've ever had in my whole entire Twitch feed. Like, I didn't get the summary on my Twitch because I turned off email notifications. So I had to turn them back on and they're like, Sorry, we can't give you your Twitch short summary. But Tony is definitely um, the streamer I've probably watched the most. Because Tony's just amazing. I, I love how he's so chilled and he's just so talented at one of my favourite decks, right? Okay, so we're expecting Force of Vigors. Tony plays four Force of Vigors in sideboard. Um, I'm wondering... <laughs> Take his trophy lunch money first, then feel sorry. Um, I'm wondering if I should bring in Welding Jar. Right? To just... Because it also... I don't know if Defense Grid's worth it, right? Because the only... They have Crop Rotation. They play at an instant. They have one spot of time, and they have Force of Vigors. But he's definitely just slamming in four Force of Vigors, right? Oh, Grafdigger's Cage is also really good against the Green Suns. So let's bring in Cage. Let's go ahead and think about. At least bring in two. All right, let's think about what's bad here. All right, good night. Good night, Reed. It's good to see you here. Yeah, p yeah, exactly. Defense Group means he can't pitch for Force of Vigor. That's why I'm thinking of bring it in. Well, not for free. Yeah, right, right, right. Um. He's not wastelanding us, but the Crucible lets us, like, be ahead on Smokestack. Um, so, Needle. What is Needle Demon Reclaimer, I guess? I guess I can take up the Serum Powders. The Serum Powder lets us, like, have higher inevitability of hitting our cards, but I'm wondering if it's okay to take them now. Chalice on 1 is amazing, because I a lot of 1s and 2s. I got Maps, um, Needles, and Elvish Reclaimers. And I think Smokestack just wins if we resolve it. I will play it like this. Bring in a Welding Jar, Graft Digger's Cage, and two grids, and see how this goes. Do we really need the Welding Jar? I think it's kind of nice because I feel like Tony, Tony is such a patient player. Like, all green Cloudpost players have to be patient, right? So if we're able to, like, play the Jar out, it makes it very awkward for them. And stuff like Trinosphere or Cage is really... Not really Trinosphere, but Cage... Uh, not Cage. Uh, bridge is really, like, hard for them to deal with. This is a slow hand, but it has Wasteland and Saga. But we also have a Grim, so I'm going to keep it. They might just go Cloudpost tap to pass. Once upon a time for our opponent. They got a Cradle. Are they going to play the Cradle? Right, right. Needle, probably naming Wasteland. wonder if they know we have Wasteland. Wasteland. They, they normally would name Wasteland by default anyway, so... Alright, we got the Tomb, which is great. Which means we can slam a Trinosphere. And then next turn we slam a, um... A Khan. I mean, not next turn, but soon. Actually, we can play it next turn, because we have the, uh... Mox Opal. Right. So they are stuck for a turn. And it's a Cloud Burst. So they're gonna lose, I think. Yeah, we, we're just gonna, uh... I'm gonna do the thing, folks. Oh, we even draw a city. That's even worse. Alrighty, um, I guess we get Saga, Khan, go grab uh, Liquid Metal, and we just win. Alright, so unless they can play Glimmer Post here, gain 2, then they'll have enough mana, but the question is, what can they do with it? They need to be able to go, like, they can't deal with the Khan, though. The Khan inevitably will, like, destroy all their lands. So, like, you can go Forest. Like, you can play Glimmer Post, you have green, so you go Force of Vigor, hard cast it on Trinosphere, I guess. 
I don't know. I don't know what the, like, I'm just trying to figure out the opponent's line. That's the best way to play Magic, right? I, okay, they're playing Gloopo, so that's what thought. Gain some life, and they're just passing. That's how this goes. That's what they do here. Alright, got the Saga. We at least have to try to kill them as well, remember, folks. Okay, so... Thick head? <laughs> my, my, uh, my wife is making fun of me again. Um, let's go ahead and do the thing. Uh, what do we blow up here? I guess blowing up green takes them off green. Blowing up cloud post stops them. Oh, so we just blow up cloud post. Yeah, we blow up the cloud post here because then it doesn't give them the ability to like play spells. <laughs> that makes sense. Are they going to tap mana? Are they are tapping mana here. See if they're going to force a vigor or something. The deck is literally with Cloud Burst. Yeah, I am aware. I'm aware. I've played a lot of Cloud Burst. They got a Force of Vigor, so I was expecting that. Oh, Endurance. Right. I guess I could have. Yeah, that's fine. They got to try to beat down, I guess. They're actually shuffling the Once Upon a Time. Wow. Okay. I guess I can make a Saga token here. So I can block the Endurance, which is good. It's going to be massive though. <laughs> Saga 5-5, five five, right? I think the opponent was hoping I wouldn't have the city, right? To be able to activate Saga. So they, they need a land. They got five cards, so they need a land into a, and then they can play a spell. Um, I'm also paranoid about my clicking because like I'm just so much better at paper than I am in moto, so I might even just make the Saga token as soon as I go into combat. <laughs> I could have made it last turn, but I don't want them to be able to like, because they have main deck Rex Age, right? So they could have just Rex Aged it. So I do it when they go into combat here. But they need land and to into Rex Age though. Again, thank you everyone here hanging out and joining. Alright, so they... Oh, they gain life. Alright, I thought they would have copied the Saga token or something. In the combat. Alright, so let's go and just do it now. 5-5 five, five token. Passing. Alright, so we're just going to eat their green source here then. We make another token. We draw another Khan. Right. Uh, do I another make a token or just lattice them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we just lattice them. Uh, we're gonna tap for green. Token? Why? Why token? I guess we keep eating their lands, right? Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. You, you, you might, might be right there. Um, watch for the floating mana. Yeah, I know. Lattice for the rage. <laughs> no, no, Tony, Tony's, Tony doesn't rage. All right, we've got a cage here. I guess I could keep eating their lands, right? Because I just keep eating their lands and inevitably like just make a more reliable. Yeah, yeah, I think I have to go for the Yevamai now. Just like, I'm worried about just craziness, right? I, I just rather rather guarantee the win somehow. Uh, Alright, so we floated some mana. <laughs> uh, we might as well... Play a map, right? Map gives us Inventor's Fair, or like gives us an, another Urza Saga. I can go Inventor's Fair into, into Crucible. That's always a thing. Yeah, we'll do that. I mean, I gotta even start attacking if I want. Because Khan's on 5. No, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait. Okay, gotta be patient, gotta be patient. Yeah, we'll, we'll just hold it up. They need another land. And then we just lattice them. Gotta be patient. How's my giant head? Like, I know I'm looking at the screen. Does that even help? Like, I'm like, am I, should I be looking at the webcam? Like, I don't know, should I stick the webcam above the, my monitor? I don't know. This is my second stream of my giant head, so let me know if you appreciate it. 
giant head stream. Oh, we got the smokestack here. Alright, we'll mix. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We've got the wasteland. Alright, might as well light us now. I, I just. <laughs> yeah. Another lattice win. But we're not dead. Lattice not guaranteed win yet. Because we need to... Uh... Good games, good games. Good games, friend. That was nasty. <laughs> but it said that was nasty. Alright, we got the win to lattice. Alrighty. Alright, we're 3-0. No. Let's go. Alright, this deck is sweet though. I definitely uh, appreciate all the the color colors played in the deck, uh, all um, all five colors of them. Am I gonna like run through and get a trophy in record time? The deck like is like it's it is pretty full on on prison. I got the even serum powder earlier, which is kind of nice. Pretty excited if Tony uploads that league. I also upload all the leagues here as well, folks. So you check out the YouTube channel at um, exclamation mark. Um, uh, you check out my YouTube channel. Uh, there, right there. I also upload all my leagues as well. So feel free to um, support my stream by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand so that I can actually get paid for my videos. Because right now I've been uploading for at least like two years now. But, you know, slowly getting up there. Slowly getting up. I played a lot of cloud posts, a lot of prison decks, a lot of like fun jank decks. Like elementals and just brews that I do on my phone. So I'm trying to be like the Asian, Australian, Bosch and Roll. Um, sort of like Thraven you Phil Gallagher style, you know. Also, I've been uploading uh, like... I love Phil's videos. Phil's an amazing like content creator because he went full out playing all the leagues. But uh, yeah, I've been uploading jank videos for a while now. It's just that um, I don't upload as often, right? They, those uh, Phil Gallagher and all those other people they upload like oh, like five six times a week. Like I can't do that. I've got a full time job, so <laughs> I can't uh, dedicate to playing a league every day. But I'm sure I'm glad that everyone is here, just hanging out, keeping company, and appreciating uh, some good old legacy. The best format in Magic. Been trying to play vintage, but it's uh, <laughs> it's getting a little bit uh, crazy where people are just like, Oh, ancestral upkeep, <laughs> Loris, Black Lotus. I'm just like, Yo, calm down there, cowboy. <laughs> and like a lot of my cards are like restricted in vintage, things like Khan is restricted, Thorn, Amazus, Chalice of the Void. Like a lot of my favorite, I mean, then again, you have. Mishra's Workshop, is it? Yeah, Mishra's Workshop. Is a workshop or factory? I should know this. I'm a colorless player. What's the one that taps for three colorless? For artifacts. Is it Workshop? Mishra's Workshop, right? That's like... Yeah, that's like one of my favorite cards in Vintage. But I always get mixed up with Workshop or Factory. I think it's Workshop. Yeah, yeah, it's Workshop. Alright. We'll go into the next game here. Oh, how? Oh, wow. This is, honestly, we are on the play for three rounds, four rounds in a row. This is a miracle, folks. On my stream, I always, always lose a die roll. All right. Yes, please. Alrighty. So we have a turn one Trinosphere. Turn one Trinosphere. I guess we just do it. We're on the play. Turn one Trinosphere. Let's go. All right. Well, round four here versus A Rock with a zero for an O. I'm going to go and keep this. We also got a follow up smokestack as well. Turn one chalice. I think I'd rather just Trinosphere, right? Protects chalice. I mean, if they want to counter this, that's fine. Because then I just. Oh! 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 We got there. <laughs> there we go. Turn one Trinosphere just means they can't do anything. Unless they wasteland us. But we still got a port here, so. Not a tomb. Tomb could mean they're on eight, uh, eight casts. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna s now got an awkward city land situation. I don't, I don't care. I don't be honest. I don't mind. So I actually can put them back on the 
pedal here by going because if they're an ancient tomb deck they most likely have stuff like they like, don't have many one drops right like the only ancient tomb decks are like either like mono red prison or you know eight cast whatever or even colorless cloud post and if you're playing tomb you're most likely are not playing one drops like apart from show and tell like i think show and tell doesn't even play tomb they play cities so if you're playing tombs you don't care about one drops so i don't think a chalice even matters here i'm thinking of going grim only for three play port and just play a smokestack that's my line here i even can port them could be show and tell do show and tell play tomb? maybe they do play tomb and maybe i'm just like miscalculating here but they can't do anything so this is all gonna resolve Opponent is thinking about the cards. All right, a rock here. What do you got here, mate? Island, see the Cenoid. I don't know what they're gonna play here. Like, there's a saga. Oh, this still doesn't give away anything. <laughs> Are they playing transfer? No. What they play for three? Oh, it could be anything actually. They're just paying costs. I mean, Saga's kind of a problem for us, because it means that they can, uh... <laughs> the counter goes on the stack first. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. Yes, I did that mistake earlier. So Saga means actually can attack us, right? So, I mean, we'll make him sack stuff, so that's actually fine. And I don't actually feel like sacking the Grim here. What are they doing here? Let's think about it. Three mana. Could be anything. So click on the... Yeah, we click on the counter, right? Yeah, we click on the counter. Click on the counter. Thank you for the follow. Um, Thwop Rob 2. Chalice for 1? Interesting. I guess they want to sack the chalice instead then. Yes. That'll make me not sack the first time. Yep. So I click on the counter. Yep. And that will go last. There we go. Yep. So we will not sack here. And we also... Oh, that means we can port them. Put a counter on there, yep. Bridge. Okay, so... I feel like I want to port their tomb here. They're just going to make a token anyway. Actually, I let smokestack happen first. I do it in their draw step. Because they don't have the ability to make the token yet. Um, let me set a stop here. Oh, on my on their turn. Yeah, not my turn. Alright, so we pass. Upkeep. Smokestack. They're probably gonna sack the chalice, I guess. Yep. And then we port their Urza Saga. Yeah, I could have ported the tomb there as well. Um, but I just wanna in case they like play another tomb. I feel like that was kinda risky. So I don't want them to make the thing of jiggies. The, the creatures. It's okay. I did it in the draw step anyway. It's all good. Oh, we also have the bridge in our hand as well. But yeah, I'm going to sack the Grim here. Since it's just like a dead artifact. Oh, they, oh, they didn't get a land. Wow. They missed the land drop. Sure. Let's see what we draw here. Alright. I don't think we need to sack anything anyway. So we're just going to... Put, I don't think we need to put more counters, I mean, sorry. No. Oh, we drew a tomb, which is great. I guess we could just play the bridge out here. Or I could just play the chalice. Yeah, I could play the chalice out just to sack another permanent. Yeah, let's do a chalice for one. Oh, even chalice for zero, I guess. Oh. Yeah, chalice for, chalice for one. That's fine. Oh man, not again. This again? Alright, so I need... <laughs> Alright, this happened again. Alright, so we go... Tap? Yep. This happened to me last time. I'm trying to... Like, I always like do it wrong. Give me a second. Currently is one. Three is paid so far. Adjust. No? We don't want to adjust. Click OK. Hey yeah. Okay. Is this right? We're doing this right, right? 
Click done. I didn't see done though. Alright, chat. Give me a second. It says click done to finish paying. I don't see the word done though. Why do I have to pay four? Okay, there. That's weird. Why am I paying four? Anyways, that's weird. So, uh, this is what I'm saying. This is why I annoy hate sometimes in uh, paper. Uh, in uh, Modo. It's just really bad UX. And I'm a UX designer, so it frustrates me. Anyways, we didn't need the extra mana anyway, so it's fine. Because in paper, you'd be like, Oh, I want the chalice for one, I'll pay the extra tax for Trinus fee, and it's just three mana? That's kind of strange. I right, said so they're going to make a construct here. And then they have to sack it anyway. <laughs> What did they get here though? Like a foundry? I guess? Needle. Probably naming port. Or naming Khan maybe? Khan the Great Creator? They also lose a land, which means whatever they do, things are going to go away soon. <laughs> Port, right. Yeah, it's kind of awkward for them. And they scooped it. We got the game. There's a wasteland. Alright, so they are... An artifact deck? We didn't actually learn much about them. They could be playing the same deck. I don't know. They could just be colorless cl cloudposts? I, I don't know. Um, yeah, we don't know. We don't know. So, we just send it back. We'll send it back. I guess we prioritize uh, some cards, I guess. Fair magic, as they say. Fair magic. I guess on the draw, what am I even prioritizing here? Just like a... Another... I mean, I think it's the fact that we got that early smoke stack out that won us the game, but we didn't actually find out anything about their deck. It's kind of awkward. Yeah, I can prioritize bridges. We did see... Pardon me. We did see the Sagas. The uh, the double the double inventors fair in the in the deck here is a a big nod to uh, just like hundred percent Sores deck like he he they the inventor of the deck really really loves artifacts and this card is just like an embodiment of that person that created the deck. Shock the third, thank you for the uh, follow. I appreciate the love, mate. Uh, where do you where, where are you what are you playing Legacy and where are you tuning in from? I'd love to know. Same you same with you, Top or anyone else in the chat. I'd love to know where are you tuning in from. I am playing from Seattle, Washington, uh, over on the uh, Never Eat Soggy Weepix, West Coast, <laughs> West Coast. I forget what coast we're on, to be honest. I, as you know, I'm not an American, <laughs> but I live in America. All right. Oh, maybe we should take out the chalices, but you know, whatever. They have chalices themselves, so they probably don't uh, care about chalices. This hand, it's like a turn three kind of slow but at least we have a chalice for one which doesn't really do much against their deck um but we have smokestack and cons we have things to do Let's see what do we have the we do not have the uh, crucible in the sideboard is this too slow chat is this too slow uh i guess we have the sagas oh we've got the sagas i'm gonna keep it we've got the sagas sagas always do things Bauble. Oh, so it is 8 casts. Okay then. Well, there you go. Chalice and Zero is kind of good then. Chalice for Zero doesn't allow you to play magic. Right. So it is 8 casts. 
I mean, they just play the Moxo board and Bobble, so I'm actually okay with that. Alright, so it's probably an Emery here. Okay, so it's 8-cast. There you go. I was trying to figure out what deck they were. I guess we sort of, like, st st stunted their whole entire plan in game 1. Oh, they only hit a pedal no, and a bubble. I guess I can still re replay bubbles. Wow, they had an explosive turn one. So I guess, yeah, I guess Chalice for zero is pretty good. All right, they're going to look at our library, which, you know, you can do all you want. You do you, friend. You do you. Alrighty, um. Oh, wow. This wasteland is really good. Um, so. First things first, I think... Because they're a fast text. I don't know if Ventafair is actually even doing anything. But I like Sagas, right? But Sagas makes us lose lands if we're trying to do the smokestack thing, right? But Sagas at least gets permanence. So I guess we... Let's go ahead and discard Inventor's Fair. Oh, Inventor's Fair gets us our artifacts, though. It gets us um, uh, Crucible Worlds. Okay. First things first. Let's go ahead and play Mox Star. I'm trying to figure out what to discard here. Is, uh, since we have two Sagas, maybe we discard a Saga here? Because I've got a Chalice for zero and Wasteland them. Hmm. Or do I prioritize? Yeah, let's start to discard a Saga. D do I prioritize kind of get Khan out? Nah, let's Wasteland them. Because this, this also stops them being able to do the uh, Bobble Loop. They also have Fossil Worlds. I forgot they have blue cards now. Yeah, they got Force of Negation, Pitching Emery. Sure. Which, actually, funny that, actually. That changes a lot of things, because Khan can actually get that back. All right, we're still going to Wasteland them, though. That's a good plan. Can't, can't let them do things. Yeah, we actually... That, that actually helped us, by the way. The, the fact that they didn't Force Will and they Force of Negation means Khan actually go gets it back. All right, they're going to pedal here. Huh? Like, what, you, you activate uh, target pedal and not cast it? Okay, come on. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Don't get... Alright, we they lost the land, so they're kind of a little bit behind there. They've got two cards in their hand. Alright, they're just passing now. Good. They've got nothing to cast. Oh, oh god. Motobug, motobug. <laughs> motobug. Alrighty. The good old, uh, you know, discard a Urza Saga, redraw the Urza Saga. Uh, so we're on, we're on track to get a Khan. If your opponent is enjoying magic, you have failed. Alrighty. So they're gonna, like, I guess, bobble here? Yeah, they're gonna bobble to try to redraw, because they're down to three cards, right? It's way too low for them. And they also needed... I mean, they had Metalcraft, but yeah. Let's see if they're actually gonna cast stuff. Thought cast, that's a good card. Wow. Okay. They drew another bobble. Wow, they had so many zero drops. I guess we have to try to race to this card now. But they're still not doing anything, just trying to draw a bunch of cards, which makes sense. I hope they crack them all. That's one. Are you gonna crack another one? You, know, you just revealed smokestack. Awkward. <laughs> I mean, they saw it last game, so it doesn't matter. Oh, right, please crack them all. Yeah, you, you can go draw cards. I don't, I, I don't mind. What'd they see? Oh, they, they just want smokestack, and they know what I have on top, so. Not a box diamond. So that means we can actually just Khan right now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm down for slamming a Khan and getting a Chalice for minusing on Khan and getting a Chalice. Wow, these Mox Diamonds have been insane this deck. Okay, I'm kind of happy about the Mox Diamonds. Okay, the awkward thing is, oh, they have another Fossil Will. Pitching Emery. Alright, so that, you know, that did a thing. I'm glad they didn't Fossil Will the Khan. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, interesting. Uptick Khan. Smack with Smokestack? Interesting, you could do that, yeah. I don't think the deck plays Wasteland, so I actually can just do this. Play Inventor's Fair and make a uh, Construct. Next turn, Float Mana. And uh, slam the Khan. It's just awkward, they're drawing so many cards off this, uh, uh, this Emery, but, you know. I guess I gotta give them some sort of game. So they forced, they forced our Mox Diamond. They, they're trying to draw cards again. Emery is such a good card. I, I just love the the flavor. Whoever invented and designed this card is amazing. Like, it's not too... It's powerful. It's not overpowered. And it has, like... You know, it, like, it has all the things, right? Like, it's a, a little... 
uh, Emery, like, you know, look, trying to look for artifacts and, and brings things back from the dead. The only awkward thing is that Drown in the Lock kills Emery in the Lock. <laughs> Locker of the Lock, so. Um, cause it, yeah, it's kind of just irony, that's all. Sample platter. Right, I got a key, which is kind of nice. Alright, a little float some mana here. Slam this card. They got three cards? Ooh, we can get a needle. Yay. We also can get a box opal if you want to just like have that extra mana, but we're gonna get a needle here and name Emery. <laughs> How many sagas does we want to play, eh? Alright, they got three cards. Do you have the force? You've played negotiation and force. Do you have the force? Now they're compensating uh, compl contemplating life the fact that we oh they had another force pitching force or will clap clap opponent that was pretty good nice tricks there uh we do have metal craft though so we can activate uh inventors fair uh later on wow they they've definitely put on a good fight the force negation force of will force of negation pitching emery force of will and emery so they had five forces uh, four forces in their hand so far so good for them definitely put on a good fight this is a sigh thought monitor all right they're gonna be able to draw some this is kind of awkward with the smoke stack and all and they also have a million permanents so we're not really uh <laughs> not really doing the smoke stack plan today do we just go with the construct plan and just beat faces? Is that the plan? Because they're on 15. I wonder if we should start beating faces. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean that in just a regular magic, the gathering way. Oh, what are they doing now? Oh, thought cards. They draw so many cards. That's insane. Another pedal. There you go. Yeah, I think we just start attacking. Be honest. <coughs> Get a shadow spear. Give these little bad boys trample. All right. Go ahead and look into my library again. Yeah. So I'm gonna make. I'm just gonna beat down. I guess to gain some life as well. Why not? We have like two more tokens out of this saga. Oh wow, Trimsby is actually really clutch. Um, yes, I like Trimsby more. Yes, I like Trimsby more. Because I play Trimsby, it becomes a 4 4 and I start attacking. And that stops all their spells. Yeah, we'll go with that. They're on 15 as well. They also have a Shadow Spear in play, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so this Trinity Spear is really good. They got three cards though, but yeah, they got like so many zero drops. They're gonna suit up. I think they're just gonna get Shadow Spear, suit up the Thought Monitor and start attacking. Are they? Or they got a Sire or something. Sai. Alright, Sai's really bad for this smokestack, so. <laughs> but it means they can't just vomit a bunch of zero drops. That's a good thing. Alright, I'm gonna make another construct and then get um Shadow Sphere. Uh Shadow Spear. Cause these are gonna become six sixes. They're thinking if they should attach to the Shadow Sphere now. I think that's what the opponent's thinking about. I think uh, they attach it to the side, make it a 2 5. Attach it to the thought monitor, maybe? What are their thoughts here?
No, they're just passing now. All right, sure, 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 sure. Kind of awkward. All right, attack for one. You got an opponent. I'll go back to 21 again. <laughs> Alrighty. Was it even worth the attack though? We might as well have a blocker, right? It's just Emery's not doing anything. Yeah, I'm gonna just do the thing. We also can get a Mox Diamond. If, oh, we drew a Tomb. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're casting Smokestack. Um, oh, we do not have a Shadow Spear. That's in the sideboard. My mistake. So I guess we get Mox Diamond. I mean, sorry, Mox Opal, sorry. It just like gives us mana back. Map? What does map get us? Another Saga? <laughs> actually, that's actually a good, a good idea. Because I can play my Tomb and just crack the uh, map. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, attack for six here. See how they block. Will they chump? They're chumping. Okay. Just the barrage of Urza Saga over and over again. I'm gonna take two. Oh yeah, I could do that. You're right. Can get a Inventor's Fair for Crucible. It's a little bit too slow though. I think right now we're on the beatdown plan, right? And they can't even um <laughs> they can't even uh Oh wait, I think they have to pay. I think they're trying to play Thoughtcast. And they realize like Trinosphere always says you have to pay three. That's the last the highest layer, right? The only thing that gets around Trinosphere, yeah, now they've realized. The only thing that gets around Trinosphere is Delve. Right, because you when you delve cards, you're actually still playing the mana. Yeah, so they realize they can't just play Dalt Monona for blue. They have to pay two colors. Right, they're gonna have more choppers, I guess. And draw more two cards. But they can't play any more spells here. Trinosphere doing work. So I'm gonna crack an end step here. Um I'm gonna lose an artifact, but then I'm gonna get Saga. <laughs> like, yo, I also metaphor key makes it unblockable, so I could just go that line? Do I just make my construct unblockable and attack them twice and I win? Yeah, yeah, oh sorry, I just read what you just said. Yeah, exactly, yeah, I didn't see that. The problem is, I can only do it once, right? I'm hoping they hurt- I don't know what they're trying to do now though, because they need three mana, like <laughs> that's just how Trinus Food reads, right? I guess, yeah, I guess we could do the tr the Monofold Key, I guess. it's But there's three mana. So, for me to cast it, I'm going to cast the Monofold Key, and then I won't be able to um, activate it until the next turn, right? Because I need six mana to do that. Oh, so actually, I can have six mana. I activate the map, right? Three mana equals, makes seven, seven constructs. That's true. So if I, no, I think I think we still crack the map here. I know I know they become five fives, but I'm gonna get another thing anyway later on. I wonder what I get here. I could wasteland. We also don't have artifact land. I get a saga here then. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Unless we uh, we get a soul land, so we can go key straight into unblockable, attack for five. Yeah, I don't mind doing that. The saga just gives us more constructs, so... Yeah, I can be patient here. I'm gonna get saga. City form of mana? I don't think I need more mana. I could've, like, I could've just gone, like, mana four key straight into, like, unblockable, attack for five. To two turn clock. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So here's the thing, though. Like, I can still just cast the mana four key now, and they're six sixes. They can't block, right? They wait. Got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So I just cast the key now. Be patient, right? And we also have a backup as a saga here. We also can untap an artifact <laughs> if if we need be. All right. So we attack both. They have to. They have to chump. They don't have to, but they will. Yeah, they're gonna chop like that, yeah. Sure. Okay. 
for whatever reason, maybe Embry might attack, and they might forget that Manifold Key can untap it. And that's a thing, right? They're going to cast a creature, and they're going to get another, um... Another token, right? A side token. Raven form? Excuse me? <laughs> I mean, I get a 1-1. One, one. Oh, whoa! This gives me lethal. Sure. I mean, they got, they've probably got a bunch of Zoro drops in their hand. So... Oh, they're going to have flyers. Alright. Well, they're still going to... I'm still going to make it unblockable. So I hope they don't like... What it, I mean, it doesn't really... Eh. Maybe I should have went for the unblockable line there. Because they have to deal with either tokens, right? Alright, they're trying to draw a bunch of cards and go go here. But yeah, Mana Fall Key being unblockable I think gives us at least a two-turn clock. We also can make another Saga token later on actually we can do it no we need a land we need a land to be able to make unblockable and make a token they ran out of gas that's good yeah we're just gonna beat down the constructs well they, they both are flying so they're not dead yet they're probably just going to jump the other construct. Okay, they're not, okay so they, are they going to attack? Oh, wow. So I'm just going to untap this and block it, and then it's going to die. Did, I guess they're getting life, but I'm killing their Psy, right? I don't think this deck has removal apart from that Raven form. So I think they just realized the opponent just wrote, my misplay cost me. Yeah, you don't need to attack the, the side there. Put on the Emery, Emery as well, right? It's the same toughness. I mean, it's basically the same. The opponent wrote, my misplay cost me. Should have exiled your Trinosphere. I mean, they did, right? They did exile it. I got a bird. I think they meant key. Yeah, I think the opponent meant I was supposed to exile your key. But yeah, I think they also just realized our line here as well of like attacking for lethal. Also, you drawing three to Urza to my non. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me, I think the opponent's just pointing out I drew three Urza's, Urza's saga. Uh, technically, uh, uh, technically, I tutored one. Yeah, yeah, I think I would have just attacked the lethal, right? Two turns ago? Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, the opponent's saying they should have stopped... They should have exiled my Trinosphere earlier because they had it in their hand. Oh, the opponent scooped it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, they had the Raven form. Probably just said that they had the Raven form earlier, so they just should have taken that transfer. No, I hundred percent agree. Their whole deck runs off zero drops and one drops, right? Not even one drops. They have a bunch of zero drops, so they should have just taken out ASAP. Four rounds of the Ferris Magic. Wow, look at this. This is insane. We wait. We lost. Okay, first round was what was first round? Second round was DNT. Third round was something. Oh, that's a Cloud Post, and then fourth round was um eight cast. So first round was yeah. Hopefully. By the way, if you did not know this, I've never trophied, so, uh, because I don't play Moto that much. I only play, like, once or twice a week, so, every time I play, I always play fun, janky decks. So, if I get this trophy, this is a big deal for me, because, you know, I, I play, now, obviously, paper, I've won paper tournaments, and, you know, whatever, but I don't play Moto that much. So, hopefully, we get the 5 Dream here. This is, you're witnessing a first. I did technically, like... 6-0 like Honorox tournament and made the top eight so that's yeah but it's not a trophy right <laughs> this is uh this is what happens when i play janky decks i never play two decks look at this this is crazy 21 trophies that's crazy and way ahead of everyone else 5-0 dream hopefully What's first round again? What do we verse? 
forgot. I think Trinity is just too strong. You'd like to witness it? Yeah, hopefully. I don't want to screw this up, eh? I fall one like a million times. I've I've been streaming since the start of the pandemic. As soon as the pandemic started in March ish, um, I had my second stream on my birthday, which was like mid March. But I started streaming like at the first week of March in 2020. And I've been streaming twice a week, every week. Um, I think there was like a few like maybe odd weeks here where I took a break because I just went on vacation or whatever. But like, you know, I just like took a break really. But uh, yeah, I've been streaming basically every week uh, for the last like two years ish. And I also did not accept subs on the stream um, for 22 months. I, I was always like, you don't need a sub, just here to hang out, enjoy the company. Um, and I was like telling people not to sub to me. Um, and uh, apart from Twitch Prime subs, all right, they're free. Uh, but yeah, I've just opened up accepting subs as of, uh, you know, last week. So it's my first time. Alrighty, what do we got here? This is not a good hand because we've got City and we've got no mocks. I guess we could smoke stack. I mean, do we powder here? We're going to lose the Khan and the Trinosphere and then Mox Diamond. That's powder. All right, we're getting round five here against Moro 6-6. Six, six. I guess we're powdering this hand. Sure, I'll keep this. Keep this. We're on the draw. This is the... Out of four rounds, this is the first on the draw. All the rest of the rounds, we um, we uh, we actually got a bunch of cards in exile for Khan. Uh, we we were on the play for four rounds. It's probably contributing. Wow, opponent is mulling to five. All right, good luck, friend. Um, Prismatic Vista. Wow, does that like mean uh, they're just playing miracles or something? Wow, Forest, <gasps> Enchantress. Wow, I've not seen this deck in ages. Nice, nice, nice. I love it. Uh, okay, so. So we go, alright, so they're playing, so we get rid of the Wasteland here. It's kind of awkward because Saga, like, goes away, right? <laughs> um, but it can get a Mox, Opal. So we go, yeah, I, don't, I think we just discard the Wasteland here. Saga, Mox Diamond, discard Wasteland, Chalice for one. Or we can even go, um, oh man, we have two maps in our hand. <laughs> It's like, oh, Saga. Um, so we go Mox Diamond, discard the Saga, maybe? No, the Saga go, makes tokens, so that's obviously a good sign. Yeah, I think we definitely want a Chalice for one here. Oh, we've got the maps as well. It's kind of awkward. Do we Grim Model if? No, no, we Chalice for one, and then Grim Model for, oh, afterwards. Alright, I want to discard the Wasteland. Because they, they always get basics in Enchantress. Saga. We can make some Constructs as well. This is awkward. With the two maps in our hand, this is so awkward. They also have a bunch of like two drops, like Stone Grove and stuff. This card, they're just playing a modern deck. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right, all right. What have we got right here? Untap. Khan. That's a card, but we did not get the lands. Um. I guess the Grim Monolith means here that we can uh, play Car next turn. What are we doing with the Car next turn? Because we play. Oh, we can get the cards from Exile. That's a thing. Uh, we can get a Smokestack or a Manifold Key. Oh, we can get a Manifold Key. Oh, but no, we can't because of Chalice. Um, we can get a Trinosphere. Because they like to play a lot of spells, right? Or a Smokestack. A Smokestack seems good. Yeah, so I'm going to pass here. This hang this gives us five mana, plus a yeah. I think I don't think we need to make a second token. I think we get a Trinosphere? Yeah, Trinosphere is good. Uh, that's not gonna bode well for you. I guess I want to draw a card and gain a life. Yeah, that makes sense. Get the Trinosphere? Yeah, we'll get the Trinosphere here then. Enchantress. Yeah, they're gonna draw a lot of cards then. All right, they're down to one card, but they're gonna draw a lot of cards. Yeah, so unfortunately, okay, we're gonna get a Mox Opal, actually, I'm thinking. Liquid Metal, that's a good point. Oh, right, right, right. We just like blow up. Oh, no, we, we only port their land, we won't blow it up. Let's see what we draw here as well. We draw a Saga, which is great. So I don't think we need to make a token, do we? Yeah, we don't make a token because we want to. Wait, wait, three, four, five. Minus uh, that. That, that's we have two floating now. We need a Khan, so we're just gonna make a token here. 
I was thinking, like, do I make a token and just chill? Do you know what I mean? But we have to burn the Grim then. Let me think about this. If I make a token, then I have two floating, and then I can play the Saga and get the Serum Powder out. Now, that makes a big token that can protect Khan, and then what do I get? No. If I make a token... Oh, no, no, we still have Khan here. But it just plays a Khan, it doesn't do anything. That's because we can get a Mox Opal if we want. We can make a token, and then get a Mox. And then play the Saga. So that gives us, um, four mana. That's three hits to kill Khan. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, it is a zero one. Um... Okay, so if we don't get... Yeah, if we just get a Trinisphere, actually. Yeah, yeah, let's just not make a token. Um, get a Trin get the Trinisphere out of the sideboard. Sorry, one. The Mox Opals, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's four? No, that's three. Yeah, three. We have Trinisphere. Alright, cool. We'll do that. We'll get a Mox Opal here. Get the Trinosphere. Alright. Alright, we got the Trinosphere. And they do have a 1-1. One, one, a 1-2. One, but yeah, they, this is probably the right line because... Yeah, they can draw two cards here, but they can't play any more spells. Right? Unless they play a Sarah's Sanctum. Is it Sarah's Sanctum? Yeah, Sarah's... Yep, attack for Khan. It's only a 1 2, someone says. Alright, Caracas, that's a land's good. Land's good. I can make a contract now. They still can only play one land per turn, so. So I'm gonna tick up on the. Tick up on the Trinosphere. Make a 3 3 blocker. I uh, hope it doesn't die. And then we just chill here. We can make a construct as well. Wow, these sagas are going so far. Basically saving us every game. Destiny Spinner, the opponent plays. That can make some big creatures, so we have to try to deal with that as well. Yeah, they're gonna go ahead and draw three cards and get it countered. For three mana. Oh, no! No! Oh, it's uncounterable! I forgot about that part. Darn it. Alright, this see if we can still let us here. Alright, this doesn't matter. I hope they try to attack or something. Oh, they just pass? I gotta realize. Uncounterable! Ah! Alright. Constructs it is. Construct beatdown it is. Grim model if. So I'm thinking about the mana here. If we can lattice them. Because I don't want this to do stuff, right? One, two, three, four. We use two. Gonna f that makes five. What can we do? Oh, we can get a... No, we, we can't get a Mox Opal. Because it's already in play. Um, What can we get in our deck? Or do we just make giant creatures? I have six? Oh, you're right. Wait. No, wait. No, I do not have six, right? Because I tapped this for mana. That's two, three, four. And then a Grim Monolith. Four, four. Wait, one, two, three, four. Goes down to two. Saga, Opal, tap for Grim. I don't have six though. I'm trying to understand here. I don't have another Mox Opal. I only got Mox Diamonds. There's only one Mox Diamond. There's four Mox Diamonds and there's only one Mox Opal. You have five mana if you play the Monolith. 
But we don't have more Mox Opals. There's only one Mox Opal. Yeah, there's only one. Yeah, we can't. We can't let us. I was trying to let us, obviously. Let's figure out what we've got in the sideboard then. Uh, I guess I can bridge. Yeah, this thing's going to go out of control, right? They've got like how many enchantments? Like three? I can just make giant creatures and blow up their. Oh, wait. So if I get coding, I can blow up their land and get my Trinosphere back. Ooh, oh, the key. You're right. Is the key in. No, the Manifold key is in, in exile. Alright, so I guess we're not making a creature. Alright. Let's just tap this for mana. Because we want to. Just tap for mana then. Yeah, see, there's only like a needle and mox diamond. Oh, I mean, needle can name this, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, the diamond's useless. So, we need to name Destiny Spinner. It's so random. Destiny Spinner. I guess we just wait. We can just be patient. You know, that's always a thing. Um. Yeah, so that's a 2-3. So, if I minus here, it's really bad, right? Yeah, I could have untapped Grim. You're right, you're right. Serum into Grim. Yeah, I could make the Serum Powder into a 3 3. That's also a line as well. Because, like, if I untap the Grim. Actually, no, I make the Grim in. Yeah, I can make the Grim into a 2 2. Or I could just tick up a nothing, to be honest. This is also an AA. So if they're attacking, like I can make this into a two-two, right? If they're attacking, then it's just like not profitable for them, unless I just don't make another creature and just chill. Yeah, we just chill. We just chill. We don't need to make two blockers. That's fine. I don't want to risk my grim monolith getting exiled again. Stupid destiny spinner. All right, go ahead and make more manners. And draw three cards. Three cards? Yeah, they drew three cards. That's unbelievable. They kill this thing, man. Carpet of Flowers. In the main deck, right. Yeah, I need to kill this thing. ASAP. I wish I had, like, Skyship in my deck. Stupid <laughs> quote of the stream. Stupid Destiny Spinner, right? Right, I think that by by the way they're playing, they're gonna draw another thing in the ice, right? So they're gonna be able to. Um, that's a lot of carpets. Uh, they're gonna be able to exile the construct, but they won't be able to kill Khan, that, unfortunately. But the thing is, if they attack Khan, right, it's gonna go down to one. Right, so now they're going to exile the, con the Construct because right? they have 23 cards. <laughs> Curse of Silence? What? What is this? Uh, what are they going to name? I wonder what they're going to name, right? Probably Lattice, right? Lattice? I love that the opponent is playing this deck. This is hilarious. It's got Shroud, of course. Everything's got Shroud. Even even the non-enchantment non has Shroud. I guess if they name... They can name... I think they named Lattice, right? But I think I'm actually name getting Bridge here. I mean, this might actually die. They have 20 cards, and they use their white to cast Curse of Silence, right? I, I think that they'll just exile this and attack Khan for three. All right, they have another thing, so they can make white now, I guess. Yeah, they can make white now. They have 17 cards in hand. Seven, I think they have Emrykul. No, they haven't played the Serra's... They haven't played a land yet, so they could have the Serra's... Sanctum? Isn't it called? Serra's Sanctum? In their 17 cards? <laughs> Awkwards. Right. <laughs> Another Destiny Spinner for our opponent. Yeah, maybe we should have gotten something else. Oh wow, they're passing? They didn't draw the land? The the Sarah's Sanctum, whatever? Attacking Khan. Uh, I will just kill one of them. Probably the big one. He'll take one. Oh wow. 
Force the biggest probably incoming. Right, right. What in the not in the main deck? Wait, is this game one? This is game one, isn't it? It is game one. I don't want to have force a figure on the main deck because it's like 21 minutes, all right? Grab a bridge, but I need a win as well. Mox Diamond. Here's the awkward thing here, right? So if I minus into a lattice. I guess I have to minus into bridge here. You win by their card draw? Oh yeah, because they have to draw, right? They've got 14 cards. How do they... Oh, because they're going to get a discard, yeah. Alright, I want to get a bridge, yeah, so I don't... So, I mean, I got this and that, but... You're right, so this thing is... draw. It says draw a card, so they'll start milling themselves. I guess we have to get bridge, yeah. I'm going to get bridge here. Let's hope they don't exile the bridge. Um, obviously, I guess it's just discard a bunch of cards, right? I have to burn them. Alright, so I'm not going to discard the map here because uh, I want to not tap my Grim. C left Caracas untapped? How? Oh, because I can... No, it's got Shroud, though. What what, what, what I'm going to bounce? <laughs> I can't bounce it. It's a Shroud. Alright, so they're going to thin ice my token. But they can't attack... Oh, they can kill Khan. Yeah, that's a thing, I guess. Maybe I should have, uh, you know, threw the map away. Alright, Khan's going to die, which is unfortunate. So we're basically top decking now. Yeah, maybe I should have just emptied my hand. But they're going to deck themselves. Oh, they found... Okay, they fetched an O-ring, which is going to deal with the bridge. And now they finally play the Serious Sanctum. Yeah, they fetched an O-ring. And they're still drawing cards. Are you, you want to be doing this, mate? Alright, they're down to seven cards. Right, they, they just want all the manners, <laughs> apparently. Um, Alright, so they're going to cast this O-Ring, I guess, to deal with my bridge. The Oracle? No, Oblivion Ring. Down to four cards. Assuming they deal with the bridge here. Question is, like... Hmm. You cast more spells, you're going to draw more cards. Rules of state <laughs> that you were uh, all right. So I understand that the Khan is going to die here, but they can't kill me because the the needle, right? They can't kill me. I think they're gonna. They need to kill the needle, right? Right to kill me. So Khan's gonna die. I'm gonna take two, but like they're just gonna die to ca drawing cards, right? They're gonna draw a card each turn. This is an interesting game. I love how all our games went for like 20 minutes <laughs> and then this one's like taking forever because it's Enchantress. Yeah, and then they're going to discard. Chalice. Yeah, let me just cast a bunch of cards, right? <laughs> oh, you're right. We can cast it again because of O-Ring. O-Ring putting it in exile means Khan can get it back. Alright, so what about two drops? We just have Grim Monolith for two. So I guess we just... I'm gonna ch chalice for two, I guess. It doesn't hurt the chalice on two. So if they cast any spell, they're gonna just basically deck themselves. Do they have an emery call? Maybe they have an emery call. I have seen decks like this play emery calls. That just gonna attack me for three. Okay, I'll take it. I 
I don't think that kills me though. Second main phase. They're bouncing the legendary creature, so they don't draw cards, I guess. Oh, confinement. Skip your draw step. Alright. So they're gonna confinement. Stops them from skipping. Uh, it's gonna skip them from decking out. So they're gonna eventually discard a bunch of cards, right? So they skip draw step, sacrifice it. So they're gonna have to eventually sacrifice it. Because of this, you know. I mean, that, that is six turns, so they might actually kill me here. If I draw a Saga, it's always a thing, right? The slow beats, yeah. So they're gonna keep slowly discard all their stuff, right? Um, and they will, the, yeah, they'll have to eventually sack it. Uh, but yeah, I think they have like the maths on me here though. But I can draw a Khan, I can draw a Saga, I can draw a bunch of things. A bridge, I have three bridges. Uh, we gonna just chill. Oh, you're right, I can untap my second grim. Good point, I'll do that. I just have to watch time now, because I'm on 12 minutes and they're on 18. I'm gonna end step here, just skip the end step. Attack queen for two, I guess. I get down to four cards in one. Alright, I'm gonna untap the other Grim on my end step here. For some reason, I tried to tap my. Uh... Alright, we're gonna play some time, time stuff here. Can't? Well, that's another tomb. Alright, we'll just pass here. I don't think we should be playing the lands anyway. I don't really want to be playing tombs out. Might attack me for two, I guess. All right, down to three car, uh, three cards in their hand, one in the library. Okay, I could draw. There's, there are outs. There are outs. Like uh, this smokestack, right? We have outs. I guess I can play the tomb now. No, I just wait. Then you play tomb. Prepare to get bridge back? I'd love to. Alright, we're on the time game now, like 11 minutes 57. I could even just lose a round because I. Uh, the deck is kind of fast, I think. I don't have to concern too much. Stack wrong. Inventor's Fair, that gives me life. I think we can just go for some stuff here. Sack Inventor's Fair. Grab... Cruz... Grab... A uh, bridge, I guess? Let me just... Oh, we're gonna tap things. I couldn't play the land, I already played the land, because I had to play an Inventor's Fair, right? You're gonna attack me for two here. If I draw a land, I die. I am aware, I'm aware, yep. Do I sack? It could have. It could have meant. Oh, you could have meant. Hey, you're right. You're right. I could have held, held her on to it. Just gonna sack it. Yeah, I'm dead. I drew a land. Yeah, the crystal could have got the event fair back. You're right, you're right. Oh, we drew the land. 
Yeah, I could have just. Yeah, you're right. I could have just kept the inventor's fair in play, and then I keep gaining low. That's unlucky. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, sorry. I. Yeah, I screwed it up. I was drawing another land and another bridge. All right. Focus, focus, focus. We have no enchantment hate. <laughs> just focus. <laughs> like the most fairest magic I've ever played. Right, right, right. I think we just keep it is. Like, I mean, they're going to bring in Force of Vigors. I guess the Welding Jar helps. Cage? Doesn't really matter. We need an artifact that says, like, you can't draw more than one card per turn. That'll be good. Um, I guess Devonic Spear is kind of a thing. Bring the Wording Jar for the Force of Vigors here. I also got to play faster as well because uh, that game took a long, a lot of time on my side. The good thing I know here though is, let me take a powder. Um, is that, uh, is the Chalice good through with the Spinner? I mean, they have to get Spinners in play. I feel like Smokestack's actually really bad. They have so many permanents. I mean, is, is Crackers even doing a thing here? Maybe we can cut one chalice, yeah. Just cut one chalice. Like, they just need spinner in play, though. That's the thing with chalice. Come on, this is for the trophy, folks. This is for the trophy. See, Smokestack um, punishes people that have um, incident and sorceries, and they have permanence. I guess they're impactful permanents, so maybe that's even relevant there. Just go fast. All right, take out one stack, smoke stack, and play like that. All right, folks, focus, focus, focus. We need to focus. We gotta get that trophy. All right, we mulligan this. We got no lands. I like keeping this. And we bottom the powder. Unless, by the way, no, unless we don't bottom the powder here. And we just bottom the, like, the needle, right? And we go turn one, city, uh, mox diamond, discards Urza Saga, play serum powder, and welding jar to have protection. And then we have turn two Khan. I'm gonna keep this. We bottom needle here. That works, right? Yeah, because we have four mana, so we go, yeah. Opponent has kept a seven, which is kind of scary. Let's play Wadding Jar at first. Play City. Box Diamond. Discard Saga. Play Serum Powder. And then we get a card next turn. Just passing. Oh wow, no turn one play, okay. We drew the saga, because that's uh that's how it works. The coding here. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we just get a coding here and blow up their lands. Can't auto yield here because of uh, fossil vigor and my wording jar. Faithful absence. <laughs> I did not expect that. Well, that's unlucky. All right, we have a bunch of artifacts. Um, we're gonna be on the, the saga plan here. What's this? Yeah, we can do that. Draw another land, that sucks, but sure. Oh, I can draw a card. 
tea. I mean, it makes our constructs unblockable, but it's just kind of scary because it means that uh, they just the shields are shields are down. Shields are down. They can do whatever they want over there. All right, the drawing card. Okay, there's just spells, sure. I was about to say, there's activate abilities as well. Yeah, we'll have to go fast. I know, I know, I know, I know. Got a map? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, next turn is unblock war, I'm hoping. Something nice, alright. Sure. Next I want the guys. Destiny spinner, sure. It's gonna be unblockable, I'm gonna attack you and die. Hopefully that's all they got. What do you get? Needle? Fuck. Should I crack the map now? I don't think they'll they'll probably name key here, right? Yeah, that sucks. Um I can uh, I don't wanna burn the I can just get a saga token. I can just crack map and get a saga token. But like they won't name map here. I'll let it go, let it go. They're gonna name key. Welding jar? Oh, they have a force of vigor in their hand. Let's just hope they don't have it. Are they gonna do it now? They got the Force of Vigor. Yeah, they're waiting on my upkeep. Yeah, we're gonna grab Saga now. Bridge. This game. Yeah, we're gonna lose this. I had a turn two Khan. Like, <laughs> it's pretty pretty good. I think. Eventually, oh, they got the Sarah's Sanctum. They're gonna like eventually get their O ring. Yep, <laughs> they drew it. Of course, they drew it. Yep, take that. Finally, Khan takes costs us, costs us too much mana as well. And confinement. I think we lost this one, chat. I thought I had the right play. I think that was the right play, to be honest.
Can't win, can't win them all. Oh, we're doing on the bridge. Just throw this out. They got nine cards. They're probably gonna draw another one. Stony silence. That sucks. Sure. There goes our, our, uh, our <laughs> construct plan for the blocking. They might actually deck themselves, but I doubt it. They're probably drawing another O ring. On the on the nice. All the draw triggers. Nine cards left in the library. Looking for that O ring, I guess. Utopia Sprawl. Down to five cards. But I guess they can't uh, deck themselves. Skip the draw step, yep. <laughs> Letting Khan take the wheel. <laughs> And they force a Vigid, of course. They do got 19 cards in hand. And they hit our Saga, what's the worst part? Chat, we we lost the trophy. Savage, right. Oh, I was so close! Oh no, I was so close. I could have my first trophy. Alright. Well, I might actually keep playing this deck uh, next week. See how this goes. Let's go back to the deck here. Uh, how do I show my deck? View your previous deck. There you go. Yeah, it was a fun league. I really enjoyed it. I think the deck was cool. I'm just kind of disappointed. Alright, let's do the recap of the deck here. Alright, recap of the deck here, folks. Um, I think the deck is really sweet. Um, you know, the smokestack plan is essentially is like paying homage to... This is a card that hasn't been played for a long while, right? Smokestack's like... It's been out of favor just because it's just a slow card. And the legacy metagame is getting stronger and stronger with like Ragavan and DRCs and people just having more powerful strategies as they innovate on decks. But I think the fact... The way this sort of works is that... Urza Saga gets uh, adds pressure without actually casting spells, right? And also it makes permanence if you're in a pinch like that. It gets like Mox Diamonds or maps, whatever you can stack to this. And then also you can just play it really fast, right? And have the Crucible play land package. And, you know, Crucible with Urza Saga is just kind of crazy. So overall, I really like the deck. It's all in on the prison. As you can see, we really, really abused. And like, we really like beat all the really fast sort of fair decks. Not fast, we beat the fair decks, right? So, or decks that were trying to just do crazy things. And you see Trinity just squats them down and say, nope, no, 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 you're not doing that. And then there were turns where we just like smoke stack, smoke stack every turn and we just won it, right? But it was a fun league. I really appreciate everyone hanging out and, 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 and hanging out in the stream here. Uh, remember, if you uh, want to support the stream, go to my YouTube channel and uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Um, best way to support the stream for free. Um, if you like the content here, click that follow button. Um, follow me here on twitch.tv slash Lee is the best way to know when I'm streaming. I used to have a set schedule where I would be streaming Wednesdays and Sundays and stuff, but I've decided to just, um, you know, focus a little bit on life and stuff, hang out with my family. Um, so I'm just streaming when I can, but I still try to, um, you know, play at least two or three times a week, you know, when I can get some time in. But yeah, overall, I think the deck is sweet. Ne never really sort of delved into the cyborg that much. I think defense grid, like as you notice, we most won most of our games in the main deck because it's just like a, a very straightforward strategy, right? Smokestack, get some like powerful cards in play and just, you know, Trinosphere. Surprisingly enough, I was really impressed with the mana base. Like, I was about to say, I was very, like, I was very sus about 22 lands and a Mox Diamonds. 
But like, it actually worked out fine for most of the time, right? And having the one-off box Opal really, really came in clutch most of the time. So I really liked the deck. I might actually even sleeve it up in paper. I think the only thing I'm missing out of the whole entire deck is more smoke stacks. I think I only own like one or two. I don't own three. So overall, I think that's the only cards I'm missing. And oh, maybe some serum powders. I, I've never played this card in my life. Um, I think people used to play an Eldrazi aggro, but yeah. Uh, alrighty. Folks, hope you enjoyed the league. Hope you enjoyed some stacks. I might play this again uh, this weekend. So come enjoy the stream again. Click uh, uh, click follow or, f or, you know, follow my Twitter account at, uh, you know, um, my social account here. And then you'll know when I'm streaming. So, so you can see in the chat here down below, I have my socials down there. Um, and then, yeah, you can just click on not uh, see notifications and see when I'm streaming. Um, but uh, hope to see everyone next week. See you later. Have a good night. And uh, let me bring it over to the face here and say farewell to everyone. See you later, everyone. Hope you have a good night. Hope you enjoyed the league. And maybe next time we can get that trophy. See you later. Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's look who to raid here, folks. Have a good one, mate. Have a good one. Appreciate the love here, mate.